do we still do the intro or uh, <laughs> <laughs> we probably should actually yeah because we haven't done one in a while it has been a long long time it has been a while since we did that and then you started messing around with the new I want this intro and I want that intro. I'm going to experiment with intros. <gasps> <laughs> Still haven't finished that. How's it going, dude? Good on you. That looks a bit low. He's going to annoy you. I don't know. Annoy. Yeah, that's good. Right up your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was your week? It has, been a, has it been a week? Yeah, it feels longer, man. But, um, but yeah, I think I last weekend it was... Batman weekend, Batman it day, Batman, whatever you want to call it. It was. It was last weekend. I think so. Yeah. I, mm. I don't know. Spend <laughs> too much money, same old, same old. It was really cool. Um, if you guys haven't seen, please catch some of the episodes mm. that we did at, at Cosmic Comics who hosted us. It was and a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and again, thanks to the folks at Cosmic for hosting us because that was that was a lot of fun. Um, especially getting to talk to them, dude. Like yeah. Especially like Shane and how the store started. It was really cool. Yeah. And 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 the, the whys and and what they love, um, where their interests lie, I suppose. Mm. Um, mm. Also, a little bit more insight into the turmoil or the carnage that has been <laughs> created by DC going the way they're going, yeah. COVID impacting world logistics and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think in some ways a newfound respect for what they're dealing with behind the scenes that I suppose we're not really privy to. Mm. Um, you know, it's just, has this arrived? Yes or no. But we don't necessarily know all the, the whys. So yeah, no, definitely. And then, yeah, um, if people missed it, we did give the Stan Lee little mini co away. Um, finally, yeah. our first competition, sort of successful. I, I think there will be more to come. Yeah, I think by and large it was yeah. successful, I think. Um, it, uh, our user count dra mm. jumped drastically. Our subscriber base jumped uh, uh, drastically. So I think to everybody out there, thanks. Thanks for... Yeah, even if you didn't enter and you had a look, yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, and if you didn't enter but you liked some videos, um, you know, I was, we were having breakfast and I mentioned to you that there were a few folks mm. um, that for me are... They're not in my mm. immediate circle. They're in... in periphery and 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 uh, yeah i suppose they could say they're like they're friends but friends via friends yeah. um and, and and of late a lot of them have been just saying to me like well done on on getting this together i suppose you and i yeah, just for sure just taking that leap and, and actually trying to do something um and then furthermore uh some of the compliments around topics, content, um, discussions that we have had mm. on, on various parts of the industry, not necessarily just focused on this particular comic book and that particular comic yeah. book, but just the broad, yeah, the broad things that we've managed to, to just get in conversation. And that was kind of flattering and humbling. So again, thanks, folks. Um, it means a lot that some of this is resonating yeah. with, with people and... And a lot of them would even say, even if they don't always watch the video fully through, there is something in there that's at least piqued curiosity yeah. and they wanted to just hear what that could have been about. Um, so that that's truly humbling and, and yeah, we'll just keep going and, and keep hoping that it continues to resonate with certain people. You know what that sounds like every time you move <laughs> Sorry, this mic stand's <laughs> giving me hell. <laughs> no, I know, but it's, it sounds like the release of certain bodily things <laughs> in my... I'm curious to see how that's going to come out in post. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do want to mention, I saw, I can't remember who it was, there was one person on our Facebook page. <laughs> what a dick. Um... Who said he missed the competition? So back oh, really? to the competition. Um, we're going to be doing more giveaways. Um, if anything, we'll be broken. We'll be giving stuff away. So yeah, yeah some of the stuff we're thinking of giving away soon. Killing That's joke and the preacher. Oh, oh, should we try and thingy cam this? Hello. We are thinking of giving away the preacher and the killing joke. Ooh. And lastly, 
to our knowledge, no one has claimed these cards that we wanted to give away. So that's right. Um, itchy and scratchy Simpsons cards. And yeah, that that I literally found in the boot of my car, and and no, no real <laughs> owner claiming them. So please, if if you want them, comment on this video on on the Facebook page either or or the YouTube channel. Just say please, can I have the cards? And, we'll make and a plan, yeah. To get them to you because <laughs> they're, they're just sitting in on our side here. Um, and, and maybe I should take... Filling up the table. Yeah, but I think we should also maybe potentially take one step further and say that if someone did claim them or wanted to claim them in the original video where we offered them and we just happened to miss that <laughs> post or comment, we're sorry. And, and you can have them now this time. I promise <laughs> we'll be more diligent. <laughs> I think both of us struggle sometimes um, with that. I know when the competition was on, we were definitely more studious at, at just mm. checking for comments um but i'll be honest put my hand up and say that certain videos got them out there made sure i shared them where i needed to share them and then didn't actually go back a day or two later just to see yeah the thing is dude i mean i think i think that's normal especially for guys like us that have a full-time job and a full-time mm. living and we're doing this as a passion thing mm. if people are like full t full-time youtubing i mean surely they can wake up and from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Yeah, it's sure. check comments time, you know, like yeah. we don't, not yet. I don't know. Not yet. It would be, it would be cool if it could, but. I, I, I think on that note though, and I'm looking at that fan. Wait for it. Wait for it. I don't know what that necessarily means. Oh, well, let's just keep going and we'll see. Sorry. We've recently shifted equipment, gear, etc. in the studio, upgrading for the most part, but, um, <laughs> We, we've also got a series of fans going off camera, just not only to keep Mark and I a bit cool, but also just to make sure the equipment stays uh, breezy. <laughs> it doesn't overheat and explode yeah. in my face. Yeah, so um, I was going to say that that maybe, yeah, we make a lot of promises, but um, try and just find time, um, both of us, in our dailies or whatever, in the evening, just while we're logging on and doing the <laughs> social media thing take time to just quickly jump onto the mm. the video posts and see if there's any comments and commentary yeah. i think we can both commit make that kind of a promise no definitely to, to try to do that more um and that's funny actually uh, speaking of the social media stuff mm. um i think we both watched um in this last week that new docky oh uh, yeah Netflix. the social dilemma i think yeah, yeah. that one um and it uh, it's, it's eye-opening, but it's scary at the same time. Mm. Um, and I couldn't help... I was watching it with someone, and as we were watching it, they don't... They, they go through the basics, the, the Twitters, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, TikToks, and all of those. Um, and they also mention, like, the YouTube, mm. um, and how all of them have got those various algorithms to, to try and plot, understand you, build profiles of you, where your interests lie, what you'd be more likely to click on look at read in this in the youtube case watch and um yeah i couldn't kind of help but think like we're part of that now uh, are we feeding the problem <laughs> yeah you know what scared me is the and i know they do a lot of like personification of you know like there's those people but they are yeah. the you, machine you're learning. talking in the docky yeah yeah but what is interesting is you know there's um i think that part where they because they have that little story that goes along with it just to help motivate it and there's yeah. that guy that um, is, I don't know if he's avoiding this goal, and then they're like, "Okay, help bring up your ex." Yeah, because we got to get him back. Why is he? Oh, he's he makes that deal with his mom to not Correct. carry his phone, to, to not be on his phone for I think it was like a week or yeah, something. Yeah. So, so what can we do to pull him back? Because viewership has, <laughs> and that's like, that's a that's yeah, that's a bit trippy, like yeah. on its own. Um, it's 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 one thing that it's it's learning what you're doing and showing you stuff, but it's like now it's picking up you not on as often. So it's like now it's got to like how push can up. I, how can I get how you can back? I turn up the knob? You yeah. know what notification can I pop your phone's way mm. that might catch you to to come back and 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 look. And I can honestly say I've 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 noticed that um, Facebook and even Instagram um, there are certain. Initially, there were certain notifications that I would instantly go in and check and, and action. Um, and as an example, one of them that I'm trying and be uh, uh, very diligent on is like birthday reminders. Mm. Birthday reminders come up and I, I make it a point of, <coughs> excuse me, 
clicking on those, I should have muted that. I could even have it. Um, okay. cl- clicking on it and, and going in and, and giving that person a birthday wish. Um, and I have noticed it's, it's probably more prevalent in my mind because of the social dilemma watching the docky. Mm. But I have realized that there are other notifications from Facebook and Instagram now that are coming onto my phone um, about certain people and in some cases people that I, I don't even know and I'm like who the hell is this person and why are they notifying me <laughs> to that so I think it's, it's you're right it, it's and I'm not on it as actively or I should have according to them this is a peak hour for me to have been on mm. and I'm not so what can we throw at Warren to try and entice him pull to him back in yeah. yeah and I mean I mentioned that to you earlier dude is like I was just chatting to Kira but like a night or two ago about like you know I'm thinking of getting a new smoothie machine I want to try the smoothie things again yeah. and literally as I was talking to I was scrolling through Instagram three or four like when you're just scrolling the search yeah. thing a smoothie maker came up and I was like <laughs> like I, I, yeah I've always known it's bad but I didn't I was like no that that's like it truly rang yeah. true for you now, right? And <laughs> yeah, again, especially after watching it. Correct. It's like so, it's so fresh in your mind. You can't help but start to pick up on those little things yeah. that they mention in the documentary. The saddest thing for me, dude, is that, and I know this happens with everything. I don't know if you, you may be, and I don't mean this in a bad way. I'm just going to use it as an example. Mm. But you always had that kid in school who like found Jesus and was like super religious and he came mm. and he had to like tell everyone. Yeah. And then you'd like speak to him a month later and it'd like kind of fade and kind of fade and it, it, the thing would wear off. It's the mm. same with CrossFit, the same with vegans. It's sure. the same with, it's like all these like, even people are so passionate. They're like, oh yeah, we're going to change the world. And yeah. and that's what I'm so scared is like the social dilemma. Even when, um, what's that guy that busted the CIA? Snowden. Yeah. It has its effect and then the world goes, and then that, that <laughs> same social dilemma thing kicks in and just distracts people and people just move on. Yeah. What's the next thing now to, to, grab the attention pique yeah. the curiosity I mean Scientology everyone's like wow it's insane people like it's like yeah. okay oh look look at Kim, Kim Kardashian or look yeah. at what Trump's doing or oh like, flat earthers <laughs> are saying this now <laughs> um, so it's like almost like we know what it's doing but people don't care enough it's just like eh okay whatever you're right and, or and they care for a day or two and then the effect fades like it's true and, and we've actually said that when it comes to and I'm sure it's prevalent in most countries, but certainly in, in our country, scandals come out, uh, things of corruption mm. or uh, allegations of whatever, and, and everyone's outraged for about a week or two. And it's on local radios, it's on, on all media, etc. People are trying to start, I don't know, um, social online justice Hashtags. movements. Yeah, all of that stuff. And then, like you say, a week or two goes by, and, and it... It, you notice that it's died out, it's, it's tapered out. And, and for me, the key indicator to it is there's always one person who goes, oh, by the way, whatever happened to, or whatever happened with this particular thing? And then mm. everyone's kind of like, huh, um, I don't know. And it's at that moment that you can actually think about, oh, well, that, that's not really important right now. What is important is this new scandal that yeah. happened yesterday. That's the most important thing on everyone's minds right now. So... And it's also, there's this whole beast that feeds it, dude, because it's like the whole FOMO thing of like, you've got to, I mean, I was telling you about it. You've got to, like, it's, it's, got, it's gotten so bad where someone has to be like the first person to share an article on like a celebrity that mm. passed away. Like, I'm, I was the first on that news. I'm like, yeah. a person passed away. You need to calm down and stop. And, and just, that's not yeah. news. <laughs> no, it is, but 100%. like. percent But yeah, have some empathy have some some compassion for the loss of life yeah, yeah so people are so scared of being left behind because yeah. of like this world that's just like rolling and rolling like out of control um, yeah and people just don't stop and like breathe it's like i don't know man <laughs> and I, I know it's a generational thing but it just doesn't feel healthy to me so it isn't healthy it, on the note of unhealthy the thing that that i'm very cognizant of and the thing that i'm very against is I think it goes to back to what we've spoken about a few times is the cancel culture mm. um, and how that has gotten even worse now in if you do not, you know, this is what we're all going for now. This is what we're all championing now. Um, and it used to be a case of, well, okay, I, I don't have a horse in this race, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to comment. I'm, mm. I'm not even going to have a say on this. I'm just going to, yeah, let you guys ride this and I'll, 
I'll comment on the next thing that I think is relevant in yeah. my life. And that was okay. You know, all the people that were enraged, off they'd go and, and champion this cause and leave those who didn't have a horse in the race alone. And I'm seeing now lately, um, those, those cancel culture folks are now attacking people who are taking the neutral. Yeah. I don't even want to take a, a stance here. And, and actively seeking them out to say, why haven't you changed your Facebook profile picture? Why haven't you shared this comment or this post or something? Because this thing is the biggest thing in the world now. Yeah. And like, sorry, I'm interrupting, but no. it's, yeah, you're hitting the nail on the head, dude. So it, we've covered so much where Social Dilemma covers that where I'm going to go, let's be totally extreme here. Be like, I'm a follower of the Ku Klux Klan, you know, <laughs> and... <laughs> I search that and then it starts pulling more videos and more videos and then starts suggesting more videos and then mm -hmm. it starts suggesting people that think like me and all of a sudden you've got this echo chamber of people that only share your thoughts and mm -hmm. sometimes they become more and more extreme and you're like, well, that people, that person believes this and he, so maybe I, sh maybe I should be pro gun control because this, this, and it like creates this whole thing where there's no objectiveness mm -hmm. and then when you, it's over and over, it's repeat, it's repeat you look at someone else and you're like, but how could you not think like that? Everyone thinks like that. Everyone True. on my social, and they think it's everyone, but they don't know what this machine learning's done. And there's no objective thinking. And yeah. then again, going on that, what further makes it worse is what I said, where it's the fear of missing out. And people have got to be so current the whole time <coughs> is that, Sorry. like you said, so let's say for instance, someone, something happens and then you, you don't change your profile picture immediately. You don't yeah. say something about it. Yeah. Then you're this terrible person, but wait, can't you give me a day or two to sit and be like, I want to th sit and think how I feel about this. No, you know, like, uh, yeah. I want to think if I agree with it, if I don't, if I, like, no, you've got to jump on board. You've got to be with everyone else. Yes. Otherwise, you're this horrible person. It's like, so no one's even giving you time to think and people panic and they go, okay, 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 we just do it. I'll just follow that thing now. I'll just get behind this thing, even if I don't really prescribe to it. Yeah. And um, and it's, a, it's, it's fear-based. For me, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new version or wave of terrorism mm. terrorism on a whole other level um and, and, and maybe it's, it's, it's conscious and it's unconscious because there are some folks out there that are hell-bent for leather on pushing this agenda yeah and i think there's a like you've just said there's a whole stream of the guys that one thing's led to another one one this whole world of social media has narrowed their thought process and and focused it in the wrong area and those people are unconsciously, yeah, singling people out or terrorizing people. Um, we mentioned it earlier, dude. Like, even if you are believe something that's 1% of the world, you still have a little group of, like, over a million people. So it seems like the world to you. If a million people... Seven or eight million, probably. Yeah, so if eight million people are talking about the same thing as you, dude, you're going to go, but this must be right, the whole world. Because people don't understand scale. Because yeah. <laughs> eight million is a... Hell of a lot of people. It Say fuck, Tyler. I know you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, um, and it feels like all oh, the whole world thinks like you do. So yeah. this one friend I have that doesn't think what I like, he's got to be in the minority. And it's like you're not stepping back. Like exactly, a hundred percent. And it's not only that you're not stepping back. It's as per the social dilemma documentary. It's it's everything that's on your phone, on your whatever, isn't allowing you, isn't giving you the other points of view, isn't offering it up in a search, isn't presenting it to you on your timeline so you really have to work to find the other points of view i found that quite interesting there's a one lady she had like shocking color hair i don't know if it was green and mm. she said she purposely follows people she doesn't agree with here yeah, to try just to balance her timeline out <laughs> yeah. and i'm like i don't know if that would work but that's an interesting point of view at least you know try and trick the system <laughs> <laughs> i did think that one day i wanted to like but it's just, it's too much work. Create a profile and like go completely the opposite direction. Make like a second profile for Mark hmm. that like likes unicorns and flowers. And, right, right. And like, and just see what it does at like some point. You, yeah, so it, it, you sit then, okay, how do I feel about this? Oh my God, that absolutely repulses me. Like. <laughs> how do I feel about that? I would never do that in a million years. Like. <laughs> and just see what happens from yeah. there. Could be quite interesting, actually. <laughs> Run two different platforms and just get various stories coming your way. Yeah. So, if you liked uh, what Mark and I were talking about here, or just like our uh, content in general... Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more videos. And, yeah, do us a favor and find us on the social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram.
See you in the next video.